I had been searching for the perfect pair of black boots for a really long time and I think I finally found them in these. They're from Forever 21 but they're genuine leather and they seem to be really good quality so hopefully they'll last me a long time. They're like a kind of heeled Chelsea boot design and they seem quite durable. The only problem is that the 4 inch heel is a bit high for me right now but I think I just need to get more practice walking in heels and hopefully I'll be able to wear them with more confidence. These boots I've owned for just over a year, but only recently I've really been starting to get a lot of use out of them. I feel like when I first bought them, they weren't really in style, but now I've been seeing a lot more of this like lace up, peep toe type of thing going on. I think these ones are a really good height. They're like two and a half inches, so they're still really comfortable to walk around school and I feel comfortable walking down hills and stuff, but it still gives me some extra height. Recently I started layering different socks underneath these and playing around with that as you guys might have seen in some of my previous videos and yeah I'm really enjoying it. I think that it looks really cute and quirky. These boots have been through pretty much everything with me. I bought them two years ago on Black Friday and I pretty much wore them every day that entire winter but now they're getting kind of worn out. You can see there's like a chip on the heel and they look kind of weird and crumpled so I am looking for a replacement. I remember these were the first heels that I ever wore to school and I felt so self-conscious wearing them even though they were only like one and a half inches tall. I thought everybody was gonna make fun of me and think I was really weird, but yeah, it was fine and I've been wearing heels ever since. These boots weirdly are my most expensive pair, but I suppose they are really practical and comfortable. These are my go-to shoes when I'm traveling and doing some sightseeing, when I'm at the airport, or when I'm doing like a scene in theater where I need to move around a lot. Basically anytime I want to be grounded and mobile, but still cute. To be honest, I bought these mostly just because they were super on sale. Unfortunately, they're a little bit small for me, so I haven't gotten that much wear out of them. But I still think it's a really nice color, so I thought it was worth showing. These boots were such a steal. I found them in one of those sale bins at Forever 21 that normally just has really trashy stuff in it. But luckily the over the knee boot trend keeps coming back, so I've been able to get a lot of wear out of them and they're actually really comfortable. I walked across the entire Golden Gate Bridge and back in these, so I've definitely gotten my money's worth. These shoes have pretty much everything I could hope for in a flat. Pointed toe? Check. Ankle strap? Check. Dorsé cutout? Check. Leopard print? Hell yes! <laughs> but seriously, I absolutely adore these shoes. I feel like they look kind of like J. Crew, but they were a hell of a lot cheaper. They were a little bit small at first, but I managed to break them in so they're at least tolerably comfortable. I feel like they really make a statement and add a finishing touch to any outfit. These shoes are the oldest pair I own. I remember I bought them the summer going into ninth grade, so four years ago, right after I hit a growth spurt and I outgrew all of my shoes. I know the round toe ballet flats and the cap toe aren't really in right now, but these are super comfortable, so I'm gonna hang on to them. These shoes are a recent purchase as well. They're from H&M, so they're pretty trash quality, but I'm enjoying them for the couple of months or so that they'll last. And I might have to buy myself a proper pair of shoes that look like this once these wear out. I like that the little loafer shape cutout at the front gives just like the perfect amount of toe cleavage, I guess if that's a thing. And I like that they have the look of loafers without being too masculine or structured. These are my lowest pair of heels slash wedges. They're just over an inch, so they are still quite comfortable to walk in. I sometimes have trouble wearing flat sandals because I think they make my feet look kind of awkward and chunky, but these ones with the heel and the lace up look really elegant. These wedges I'm not too sure of the price of because I inherited them from my sister. No, she didn't die, she just outgrew them. My sister wore these to her graduation, so I'm considering wearing them as well. I think they have a cool 70s vibe. And the corkboard wedge is pretty lightweight, so hopefully it will reduce my stumbling. These were the first like proper court heel shoes that I bought. I got them super cheap at a thrift store. They were such a steal. The plaid print kind of reminds me of like a librarian, but I'm kind of into it. And I've gotten a lot of use out of these at conferences and interviews and stuff like that. One time at a conference, I climbed up the fire escape to our hotel on the 14th floor because I didn't want to take the overcrowded elevators and my feet survived. Although I really just should have taken off my shoes. It would have been a lot easier. I bought these heels for my sophomore homecoming, so that was two years ago, and I remember a lot of bloggers were wearing shoes that were similar to this, but I found these pretty cheap. And I especially like the heel cutout because it's kind of unexpected. Even though I bought these quite a while ago, I'm still wearing them to dances and events today, so they were definitely a good purchase. 
These heels are my absolute favorite. I think they look so chic and they look kind of like 50s or 60s. They're actually a super expensive pair from J. Crew that I managed to thrift while I was in San Francisco. So I'm super happy about that because I love J. Crew, but everything they have is so expensive. These are probably my highest quality pair of shoes, even though the soles are super scuffed up now from me walking around on the pavement in Boston. These are my favorite pair of sneakers. They look a lot like Supergas, if you guys know what those are, but I got them from American Eagle for super cheap. And I think these are actually on their website right now for like $7. They might not be in this color though, but I'll link it in the description down below. I think this is like the perfect amount of platform. It gives you some height and it looks really trendy without making your feet look like giant clown feet. These again are knockoffs from American Eagle that I got on sale. They look a lot like those Steve Madden ones that were big like a year ago. These are really comfortable and a nice kind of dressier alternative to just a regular sneaker, but I'm not sure that they're really my style so I haven't worn them that much. These are my Vans and let me tell you they are super super cushy. The only problem is that I have to wear those tiny ballerina no-show socks with them which can be kind of annoying because they tend to slip off but other than that i think they give a cute 50s vibe to any outfit and they're super comfortable of course i had to include some converse in my shoe collection these are just some classic low tops i really like the gray because it's a lot easier to keep clean looking than the white converse that are really in right now but it's not quite as harsh as the black that being said these are pretty beat up from three or four years worth of use here I am doing the dumbest walk ever because I'm trying to look sporty in my one pair of proper running sneakers. I don't really run as you can probably tell by how I jogged into frame earlier, but I bought these for the Naval Academy Summer Seminar in which I ran through a bunch of water and mud in 90 degree weather, but that's a story for another time. Here's a quick bonus round because I didn't really know which category to put these shoes in and also I bought them after I had filmed the rest of this video already. Anyways, I really did save the best for last year. These are by far my favorite shoes I have right now. They're the only shoes that I've really actively pursued, and that's probably not the right word that sounds like I'm pursuing a guy or something, but seriously, I saw these on the models on Forever 21's website. To my frustration, I couldn't find them anywhere on the Forever 21 site, so I asked somebody on YouTube where they came from, and I finally found them on Zara, but then they were sold out. So then I had to buy them marked up on eBay, which was kind of a hassle, but it was 100% worth it. It's not like I have any other shoes, is it? 